Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast in, in which we partake of Christ, Christ. His sufferings are remembered. remembered. Our minds are filled, filled with His grace, grace. and we receive the pledge of the glory, which, which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray, Lord Jesus Christ, you gave, gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacraments of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us, and the peace of the kingdom we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. For he whom did merit to bear, Alleluia. Has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is to the risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gives give joy, joy to, to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ. grant we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the sorrowful mysteries. The, sorrowful mis the first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronates, O Holy Mother, Mother of God, God despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawak, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by, by his life, death, and, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal, eternal life, grant, we, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household, the Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrust you our Savior to the, to the care, care of St. Joseph. By the, the help of his prayers, prayers may, your may your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit, God, forever, forever and, and ever. Amen. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican, Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, as the, way the, the truth, and the life whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, that our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel, the gospel we share with all peoples by your will O god in your name o lord amen our lady of the holy rosary pray for us our holy father saint dominic pray for us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen please be seated for a while Good morning, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the memorial of translation of Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic. This memorial celebrates the first translation of remains of Saint Dominic, who had been buried in the church of Saint Nicholas of the Vineyards at Bologna. Many people were healed at his tomb, yet, his brethren were reluctant to acknowledge these miracles. Finally, at the urging of Pope Gregory IX, Dominic's remains were moved to a marble sepulcher. This translation took place on Pentecost Tuesday, May 24, 1233, and marked the beginning of the canonization process. Upon its completion, Gregory IX canonized Saint Dominic on July 3, 1234. In 1267, Dominic's remains were moved to this to his present tomb. We will now have the morning prayer of the church 
integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Alleluia. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shall we joy the Rura who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Alleluia. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Mary by and Mass, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, There are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us praise God as we celebrate the feast of our Holy Father, Dominic. Alleluia. Please be seated. For you, my soul is thirsting. Your love is better than life. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against the godless nation from deceitful and cunning men. Rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O set for light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy, my Redeemer. I will thank you on the heart, O God, my God. Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Dominic prayed without ceasing, both and night, both night and day. Alleluia. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart, to the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and come and born away from me. You have folded up my life like a waver who severs to the last threat. Day and night you give me over the torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter thrill of Christ. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. 
you have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherwall that give you thanks, nor death that praises you, neither those neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instrument in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Dominic Senis brothers, for, for preaching and the salvation of souls. Alleluia. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he who, who you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the, at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset, you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water, you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its furrows, you level it, soften with its showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps, in the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks, the valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. God of truth, you graciously enlightened your church with the merits and teachings of St. Dominic, your confessor and our father. By his prayers, grant that the church may never lack for temporal help and may grow ever richer in spiritual blessings. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them striped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open, and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, 
believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him, and to everyone in his house. He took them in at the hour of the night, and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great about all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Please stand. Send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and that one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth. It is better for you that I go. For if I go, if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you, but if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nagsisimula na po ang enrollment dito sa aming maliit na eskwelahan. And the past days, nung bumisita ako doon sa eskwelahan, Nakakita ako ng isang nanay na dala-dala yung kanyang maliit na anak pinapa-enroll dito sa aming eskwelahan. And I was looking at the child, nakikita mo sa mukha ng bata yung anxiousness at saka yung, in a way, parang may, may kaba siya nung nandun siya sa eskwelahan. I cannot imagine, lalong-lalo na siguro pagdating ng first day, ano kayo yung itsura ng batang yung pagpapasok na. Naalala ko tuloy nung tinitignan ko yung bata nung unang araw na ako ay papasok sa eskwelahan nung ako ay maliit pa lamang. I remember it was not an easy experience for me. Naalala ko ayaw kong bumitaw sa aking nanay kasi natatakot ako na pumasok sa eskwelahan. Hindi ko kilala ang mga tao na nandun 
kinakabahan ako kung ano yung mga ugali ng mga tao na nandun. It was like a question for me to my mom, to my mama, Ma, mahal mo ako, di ba? Bakit mo ako iiwanan dito? It was not an easy experience for me. But, later that day, ganun siguro, pagkabata lang talaga, no? Ang bilis-bilis magbago ng emosyon. Later that day, I found myself enjoying the school. That question that I have, Ma, mahal mo ako, di ba? Bakit mo ko iwanan? Yung question tungkol sa pagmamahal, nagkaroon ng bagong pagkakaintindi. Na yung pagmamahal pala, hindi lang pala you know, nanggagaling sa mga magulang. Pwede ka rin palang makaramdam ng pagmamahal galing sa mga kaibigan. Yung sense of security pala na nararamdaman ko sa aking nanay, pwede ko rin palang makuha o maramdaman dun sa aking mga teachers later that day. Kaya nga siguro, nung umuwi ako, galing sa eskwelahan, nung sinundo na ako ng aking nanay, I was all smiles. Kasi meron akong bagong natutunan. Nung simula, mahirap, kasi iwanan ako ng nanay ko, but at the end of the day, I benefited from that experience. Our present Pope is calling all of us to sanctity, to holiness, a heroic kind of holiness. And so when we want to be holy, I think we need to, to, to tread the path of spiritual growth. Spiritual growth. And when we talk about spiritual growth, we cannot but experience detachments in life. Parang yung experience ko nung ako'y papasok pa lamang sa eskwelahan nung unang araw. It was an experience of detachment for me. And it was not easy. It was a struggle. But since I experienced that detachment from my mother, nagkaroon ng growth ang aking experience sa buhay. Ganon din kung gusto nating lumago ang spiritual na buhay natin. Ganon din if we want to experience spiritual growth. At some point of our life, we need to experience detachments. Because there is that big possibility na meron na tayong mga attachments sa mundong ito that it would make us, it would make it for us difficult in understanding the presence of God sa mga buhay natin. That there is even a possibility that we could say, I need to detach from my God. I need to detach from my God para lang magkaroon ng spiritual growth. Father, we need to detach from my God. Paano yun? You remember that event you know, when Christ resurrected that early day and Mary Magdalene was looking for Jesus and he saw the gardener that in the end, when that gardener said, Mary, Mary Magdalene realized that it was Jesus. Anong ginawa ni Mary Magdalene? He clung into Jesus. Parang kumapit, yumakap. Pero anong sinabi ni Jesus sa kanya? Anong sinabi ni Jesus sa kanya? Do not touch me. Do not touch me. What were those words? Those were words of detachment so that Mary could have a deeper understanding of Jesus in her life. When Mary clung into Jesus, ano ibig sabihin nun? 
Mary had that attachment of Jesus as her friend. For Mary, Jesus was her friend. For Mary, Jesus was her teacher. But Jesus wanted Mary to understand a more deeper presence of Jesus into her life. And what is that? As her Savior, as her Lord, as her God. At kapag ka hindi na-detach si Mary doon sa pagkakakilala niya sa kay Jesus bilang isang kaibigan lamang, o bigang, bilang isang maestro lamang, hindi niya ma-appreciate yung presence ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo bilang tagapagligtas, bilang tagadala ng buhay na walang hanggan. Kaya si Mary Magdalene kailangang mag-detach. Do not touch me. O, oh, di ba? It is possible that at some point in our life, if we want to experience that spiritual growth, if we want to be holy, we need to detach, even to detach ourselves from our God. Ano yung mga experience na yun, Father? Bakit ko kailangan ma-detach sa aking Diyos? It is possible na itong mga nararanasan natin sa mundong ito, we could identify it as a blessing from God. And indeed, there these things that we experience in our lives you know, may be blessings from God. And it is blessings from God. Pero possibly then, na baka ilimit natin yung presence o blessing ng Diyos dahil lang sa mga bagay na yun. At kapag ka nangyari yun, anong nangyayari? Nalilimit natin yung presensya ng Diyos sa mga buhay natin. Halimbawa, natatamasa natin yung mga material blessings. Naging successful ang business natin. Then we might say, ah, ang Diyos nandito sa buhay ko. Now it may be possible na baka ang Diyos para sa atin, nandun lang lagi sa success ng negosyo natin. Nandun lang lagi sa success ng mga buhay natin. Nandun lang lagi kapag natatamasa natin yung mga material possessions sa mundong ito. At paano kapag ka nawala yung mga ganon? Anong sasabihin natin? Ay, walang Diyos. Walang Diyos. Now we need to detach from those things nang sa gayon magkaroon tayo ng mas malalim na pagkakaintindi ng presensya ng Diyos sa mga buhay-buhay natin. Kasi kung tutusin, hindi natin pwedeng ilimit, hindi ba? Yung presensya ng Diyos sa buhay natin sa mga bagay-bagay sa mundong ito. Ang Diyos ba nandun lang kasi lagi tayong successful sa buhay natin? Ang Diyos ba laging nandyan? Nandyan kasi lagi tayong nagtatamasa ng no, easy life, comfortable life. Nandyan lang ba lagi ang Diyos para sa atin? Ang Diyos ba laging nandyan lang sa atin kasi laging pumapasa tayo sa exam? E paano kung hindi tayo pumasa sa exam? Wala nang Diyos. At some point of our life, we need to detach from things for us to be able to understand more fully the presence of God sa mga buhay natin. Kasi posible talagang ma-attach tayo sa mga maraming bagay sa mundong ito that limits our understanding of the presence of God. Ano ba yung mga possible attachments sa mundong ito? Nandyan naman lagi yun. Yung, yung power, yung wealth, yung fame, yung pleasure. Yan yung common eh. Yung apat na yan eh. Kaya titignan natin sa mga buhay-buhay natin, baka nata- na-attach na tayo sa mga bagay na yon. Pag na-attach na tayo sa mga bagay na yon, kapag sinasabi natin na ang Diyos nandun lang sa apat na bagay na yon, we need to detach from that, from, from those things. Paano tayo makapag-detach sa mga bagay-bagay na yon? Well, kung tayo-tayo lang, kung efforts lang natin, eh, mahirap. Mahira. Kaya hihingi tayo ng tulong sa Diyos. We need to pray that He may send His Holy Spirit to guide us and strengthen us so that 
we could practice virtues that could counter these attachments. Virtues that could counter these attachments. Kapag ka nakikita natin ang ating mga sarili na na-attach na sa halimbawa, sa, sa, sa riches or sa wealth, then we counter it with the virtue of poverty. Living simply in our lives. Na hindi magkamal ng sobra-sobrang kayamanan even to the point of sacrificing the lives of others. Nakikita natin, naghihirap yung ibang tao, pero tayo talagang sobrang extravagant pa rin sa buhay. So we need to counter those attachments. If we are attached to wealth, poverty. If we are attached to power, yung tipong sasagasa ka pa ng tao, papatay ka pa ng tao para maluklo ka lang sa kapangyarihan, then we need to counter it with virtue. The virtue of obedience. Obedience to the will of God. If we are attached to fame, na lahat gagawin natin para sumikap tayo, then we need to counter it with the virtue of humility. And if we are attached to pleasure, then we can counter it with the virtue of sacrifice, of chastity, offering oneself for the glory of God. Kaya sa araw na ito, mga kapatid, sa panawagan ng ating Santo Papa, to become heroic saints, that act of spiritual growth by detaching ourselves from those that hinder us in experiencing a deeper presence of God in our lives. Magandang pagnilay-nilayan yun. Magandang tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili. Ano ba yung mga attachments ko sa buhay na pumipigil sa akin na makita ang mas malalim na presensya ng Diyos sa akin? Ano yung mga yun? How can I detach from those things? Kasi tayo po tayong lahat. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus promised us another helper like himself to be with us. In every petition, let our answer be, Lord, send us your spirit. Lord, send us your spirit. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. That we may give our best to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. That we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. For the intention of Reverend Father Teodoro Gok Opi, who is celebrating his ordination anniversary today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. That the dead may find rest in new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions. Father, giver of all gifts, grant us your spirit in abundance that we may live holy lives and work for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Gracious Lord, through the intercession of our Holy Father, Dominic, listen with kindness to the prayers we offer here. By the power of this sacrifice, strengthen with the protection of your grace all who defend the faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Dominic, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Pira para You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith So
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis is assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. all stand at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we all dare to pray our Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name thy, thy kingdom come thy will, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as, as it is, is in heaven give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us and lead, lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word, and my, and my soul shall be healed. Shall be
How beautiful the feet of those who announce peace and salvation, saying to Zion, Your God is King. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oldest word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. How, How beautiful, beautiful the feet of, of those who announce peace and salvation, salvation saying to Zion, Your God, God is King. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord our God, help us proclaim the mystery you have celebrated on this feast of our father Dominic, and help us to continue to preach your truth. May the church, which flourished through his preaching, now find help through his prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the, of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Oh, uh-huh. 